Hello everyone, this is here from AUCD.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a transparent or a semi-transparent header by using Elementor Page Builder. As you can see here, normally the header is fully transparent, but when I am scrolling little bit, as you can see here, one black color background added in the backside of my header. It's really looking awesome and really looking very professional. Not only that, but also when I'm scrolling little bit, as you can see here, my logo size also gets changed. Now it's become smaller and the color, it's become white color. And when I'm scrolling more, after some time, you can't see the header, but when I'm scrolling just little up, as you can see, you again can see the header. It's really looking very professional. So now, without wasting time let me start to creating this header so as you can see here that is my website it doesn't have any header so first let me come back to the dashboard now for creating the header first of all i have to create a menu hold on the appearance and click in the menu so from there for creating a new menu you have to click in this option create a new menu i am giving the menu name as menu one and after that i am selecting primary next i have to click in the create menu option after that let me click in the view all option so from there i need home blog about us contact product my account checkout page cart page after that let me click in the add to menu option now i have to arrange them little bit like about should be after the home page i forgot to add the testimonial also so click on that and again i have to click in the add to menu option so now drag and drop the testimonial after the about next i need the product now at the downside of the product i need a sub menu just drag it downside of the product and after that i have to make it sub item like that similar for the cart also just drag it like that even for the checkout also i have to do the same thing so after that i need the blog and next i need the contact page let me click in the same menu option now for creating this transparent header i am going to use elementor pro plugin from the elementor.com you can easily purchase the elementor pro plugin but for your practice purpose just pause the video and go to the video description there i will give a link by clicking on that link, you can easily download the GPL version of the Elementor Pro in free of cost. Now let me install the Elementor Pro plugin, hover on the plugin and click in the add new option. Next I have to click in the upload plugin option. From there let me click in the choose file option. So from there you have to click on the Elementor Pro what you just download or buy. So that is my file Elementor Pro by OBSO tips. Click in the open. After that I have to click in the install now option. Next I have to click in the activate plugin so as you can see here elementor pro already activated now just hover on the template and click in the theme builder option so now i am going to create a header so i have to click in the plus option for the header so in the blog option as you can see there are so many pre-built professional header template already available by clicking on the insert option easily you can import this professional header template in your website but in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to build that header from scratch so first of all let me close that don't worry about that it's just a placeholder content so from here what i have to do you have to click in the plus option suppose i am taking single row and two column like one column for the logo and another column for the menu so now let me click in the plus option and here i need the site logo just drag and drop it here like that i don't have any logo so it's coming like that if you already set the website logo that logo icon will appear here now you can easily edit the logo from here as you can see here to edit logo of your site go to the site identity just click on that so as you can see here from there i can easily upload the site logo just you have to click in the plus option and from the media library suppose that is my logo click in the insert media after that let me click in the update option once done just close this after that i have to click in this logo session and from their alignment i am making it left alignment next image size if you want to change the size always you can do that suppose you want your own size then you have to click in the custom option suppose the height i want it should be 80 pixel click in the apply but you can see that my logo is not appearing so for that actually i have to publish that once you publish this window will come from that you have to click in the add condition so that is my header that should be appeared in the entire website. So next what I have to do, just you have to click in the save and close. Once done, just refresh the page one. So now you can see my logo is coming perfectly. Now decrease the column with a little bit. I think that's perfect. Next, here actually I have to add my menu bar. So click in this plus option here and drag and drop the nav menu here. And from this drop down, I'm choosing menu one. What I just created before some time the alignment i am making it center another thing i forgot to do you have to click in this 
and in the layout vertical aligned i have to make it middle okay now it's looking quite perfect i think i have to decrease the logo height little bit so click in this from there you can easily adjust the height i think 60 will be perfect yes now it's looking quite good so next what i have to do i have to make my header fully transparent so for that i have to click in this edit option come back to the style option and from there you can see the classic and from there opacity just make it zero now let me click in the update option now let me check once my menu is coming or not okay as you can see here my menu is coming perfectly even the drop down is also working perfectly but i want a transparent nav bar so for that you can come back here click in this edit session option and after that i have to come back to the advanced option from there i have to unlock the margin and margin bottom i am taking minus 90 so i have to write 90 and after that i have to add a minus sign next the z index let me make it 10 let me click in the update option now let me come back here and after that let me refresh the page once so as you can see here now my header is totally transparent so now let me change the font color because black color is not looking good here so let me make it white color so for that i have to click in this edit option and come back to the style option from that here you can see the text color so for the normal suppose i am taking light gray color i think that's perfect now i have to choose the hover color so click on that the text color suppose i am taking this blue color and for the active one that will be white color now let me click in the update let's come back here and refresh the page one okay as you can see it's coming perfectly next i have to change the style little bit so by default if you come to the content here you can see the pointer is underlined but you can easily change the style suppose i'm choosing overline and after that let me click in the update option so now you can see when i hover on some text underline is appearing but let me refresh the page so now you can see the style get totally changed now overline is appearing but i think underline is looking good so let me make it underline only next from here actually you can easily specify the breakpoint also suppose when the breakpoint should appear it should appear on tablet or in mobile like that you can select suppose i am selecting tablet if you want fully tethered then you have to just enable that but i am keeping it like that only even you can change the style of the toggle bottom also from here as you can see here my toggle bottom is appearing like that but i want this toggle bottom color should be in white color so for that what i have to do first of all let me change the position so as you can see here toggle align i have to make it right and after that directly come back to the settings option click in the toggle button suppose i want to make that white color so for that what i have to do i have to change the color to white color now let me update it now let me come back here and i am refreshing the page so now you can see my toggle bottom coming in white color and it coming in right hand side you can always change the size also if you want now let me make my header sticky header as you can see here normally it is not the sticky header so for making it sticky header i have to click in this i mean edit session option come back to the advanced option click in the motion effect and from here sticky i have to make it top because it's header so i have to always keep the header in top so i'm selecting top and after that from here easily you can specify on which device you want to keep the sticky header so by default everything is selected suppose you don't want the sticky header on the desktop so you can easily remove that by clicking in this cross option but i am keeping it as it is now let me click in the update option now let me come back here and refresh the page so as you can see here my header is now sticky but when i'm scrolling nothing happened because as you can see in my demo website when i'm scrolling one black color background added here but in my website it's not appearing so for that actually i have to add a new plugin so for that first of all i have to click in the exit to dashboard after that i have to hover on the plugin and next i have to click in the add new option now in the search box you have to search for the sticky header effect for elementor you have to install this plugin click on the install now after installing you have to activate that once activated again come back to the theme builder so as you can see the elementor header click on that after that i have to click in the edit option now again let me select that come back to the advanced option so now you can see one new option added sticky header effect click on that first of all i have to enable that now from here i have to enable the transparent header next i have to enable the background color and from there suppose i am choosing this black color and after that let me decrease the opacity a little bit i think that's perfect now let me click in the update option once now let me come back here refresh the page once now let me scroll down a little bit okay now we can see the background color coming perfectly next bottom border 
if you want that always you can enable that and after that you can easily choose the color suppose i am choosing the red color click in the update option and here you can see the bottom border thickness suppose i am making it two again click in the update now let me come back here and refresh the page once so now when you scrolling as you can see one bottom border coming in the red color if you want you can keep else you can remove that also it's up to you so next shrink header if you want to shrink the header on scroll you can enable that the height suppose i am taking 50 enable the shrink logo also logo height let me take around 57 and let me enable the change logo color also click in the after scroll and after scroll i want white color logo enable that let me click in the update option come back here refresh the page once so when i was scrolling as you can see my logo coming like that i think i have to increase the height little bit so again let me come back here the logo height suppose i am making it 80 click in the update option come back here refresh the page once now scroll down okay now it's coming perfectly next i want when i scrolling after some time this header should be get disappear and when again i scroll up the header again appear like that as you can see in my demo website when i'm scrolling after some time the header get disappear and when i'm scrolling out little bit the header again come back so for that actually i have to enable this hide header on scroll down you have to enable that and you have to specify the distance also i'm keeping 500 only now let me click in the update option come back here and refresh the page so now here you can see after some time when i'm scrolling my header get disappear and when i'm scrolling little up the header come back again similarly you can see the same thing for the mobile devices also so now let me change the style for the sub menu so for that again come back here i have to click in the edit option for the menu come back to the style option come back to the drop down so here you can see the text color suppose i am taking white color for the normal on hover it should be blue color i think this one and for the active one it should be white color come back to the normal again the background color i think this pink color will be perfect for that now again let me click in the update option come back here refresh the page once now let me hover on the product okay now everything coming perfectly but till there is a small problem when i switch back to the mobile preview as you can see here from here i am choosing iphone xr as you can see this toggle item is coming downside of the logo we can easily fix that so for that what i have to do i have to again come back here next i have to click in this edit session option i have to click in this responsive option so from there i have to switch back to the mobile preview so from here what i have to do i have to click in this here the content width suppose i am taking 70 now again i have to click in this one and here the content width i am taking 30 now let me click in the update option come back here now let me refresh the page once so now as you can see it's coming perfectly i'm ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section if you really like the video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification from my youtube channel thank you have a nice day